I'm Darlene and I would like to welcome y'all to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be making a super easy strawberry pie. And oh my goodness y'all, this is, it is easy and it is so good. It is so good. I know you guys are going to love this. And when I say simple and easy, boy it is. <laughs> so the ingredients right here it's, it's simple it's easy <laughs> so our ingredients we have our strawberries yum yum strawberries fresh yummy i have some glaze this is a 16 ounce or, or a one pound bag of glaze yum and then i have my my uh, crust now i'm just going ahead like i said i'm making it as easy as i can and if you want, you can make your own pie shell. I mean, it's easy. It's, it's pretty easy and quick to make a pie shell, too. But since I'm making it easy, <laughs> I use a pie shell today. So I wanted to also tell you that you may or may not want to have some topping, cool whip topping, or a uh, container whip topping. So that's up to you. A lot of people like to eat this pie just plain with the strawberries and the uh, glaze filling. But that's up to you if you want the topping. I like topping on mine. So I just wanted to point that out that you may want to have some topping with your pie. And this glaze that I have, it's the Wix Ready to Use Glaze. Strawberry glaze. Hope y'all can see that. And that is a 16 ounce contain, 16 ounce bag, one pound. That's what that is. Alrighty, so yeah, I just wanted to point out that you might want to have some topping or a cool whip for your pie. Alrighty. So anyway, with my pie shell, I'm gonna get it opened. Let me see. I'm gonna turn my oven on to 400. And I'm gonna bake my pie shell. 400. Let's see. Okay. Start. We preheat it. It's going to take just a minute. Keep this open. This is wonderful. Now I'm just using a regular size pie shell. It's not a deep deep dish or nothing. It's just the regular size. I only need one. Now I took this out of the freezer. It needed to sit out and thaw for 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, so let it thaw for just a little bit, 10 to 15 minutes. Now I put this one back in here. I don't need this one right now. I'm just making one. So this is gonna be wonderful. Now, I'm going to, mine has been out thawing, but my oven's got to get ready, preheat. So, I'm going to take a fork. Yeah, it's thawed out enough. I'm going to take a fork and just kind of pick at it. Kind of poke little holes all around. Like so. tomato core and if you have one they're super handy super super handy so I'm gonna wash my strawberries I have not done that yet and then I'm gonna core them so let me go on over there and wash these up so I'm gonna get that done while my oven preheats okay I'll be right back okay 
So I'm going to do my, co my strawberries in cold water. And I've always been, I've always been told, if you rinse them with the top still on, it's, it's best to do that first. Because if you rinse, if you take it off and then you rinse it, you're going to end up with water kind of soaked into your strawberry. And you don't want that. We don't want extra water. We just want the juice from the strawberry. So we rinse them with the tops on. And you just gently rub it just to get any dirt or anything off of it. Just gently. And that's all I'm going to do. Just do all this. Get these all rinsed. You got them from the garden, you know, you might have some dirt on them. Or even if you got them from the store, any kind of produce, it's always good to rinse. Sometimes I'll say wash, but I mean rinse. Unless they're just really dirty. <laughs> That's like a zucchini or something. You can have them. You can actually wash it with soap if you need to, Chris. Or potatoes. And I'll be right back. First, aren't these beautiful, gorgeous, big old strawberries? I love it. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, y'all. My oven's ready. It's on 400. I'm going to, I put to my pie crust after it thawed and now I have it on my cookie sheet and I'm just going to sit it in the middle of the oven I'm going to sit it in the middle of the oven for about and let it bake for 10 minutes okay oops 10 start now, my strawberries that I rinsed off, I'm going to pat them dry, just a little bit, and I, I do it on a blue towel, because if some of them have some juice or something, get on the white towel and stain it, but it'll probably wash out too, but I'm just going to put them on here and slightly dry them, just a little bit, just a little bit. These are so pretty. I love fresh fruit, especially strawberries. These are beautiful. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, see it's leaking on my towel. <laughs> I say leaking, it's uh, getting the red juice, some of the red juice on it. And I didn't want that on a white towel. But, of course, the white towels I usually bleach anyway. Okay, so now I'm going to use my little gadget here and it just cuts out the top part. Not as easy as I thought. Maybe it needs sharpened. I haven't used it in so long. It's a wonderful little gadget. It just cuts out the middle part. That's cool. I went looking for it and I couldn't find it. I haven't done this in so long and didn't know where it was. And then I got lucky and I found it. <laughs> That's always nice, right? Find what you're looking for. Beautiful. But yeah, if you if I had washed it, if I had cut them, 
cut off this part and then rinsed them, it ends up kind of soaking in the water into it. You don't want that. You don't want that. Now, a lot of you all know all of this stuff. Y'all been cooking for years. I teach in a demonstrative way and real life way. And uh, I try to teach a lot of people that have not had a chance to get into cooking and doing a lot in the kitchen, whether it be making a big meal, a meat dish or something, or a simple dessert. <laughs> so, but yeah, I try to teach young people and anybody that just haven't uh, been in the kitchen very much. So a lot of my videos are like that. Some of them are long, but that's because I teach you exactly what to do. And along the way, I give you uh, all kinds of different little hints, little, little secrets on different things that just help out in the kitchen when you're cooking. Little things that you really don't always think about until you're doing it. And uh, so that's why my videos are a little bit longer. And that's why they show everything, <laughs> just demonstrative. I really hope that I help somebody by doing, you know, saying different things, even if it's like getting water in the strawberry, anything. I like to be able to help, and I hope I do. So our pie shell should be done in just a bit. Got that all that all beautiful, beautiful strawberries. I love them. Now I need, now I need my knife. Okay. So, my pie still has five more minutes, my crust. Now my strawberries, I'm going to slice these. I don't want a huge bite. These are the ones I'm going to put on the bottom. So I'm going to just kind of, just cut into it, cut it a few, cut it a few times. Yeah, I'll do that. doing my strawberries like this. They're just cut like this one strawberry is cut in three little parts. I think maybe y'all can see that. Like like that. <laughs> I cut it in half and then I cut it in three pieces. Depending on how big the strawberry is of course. You know just you know, like that. Just to let y'all know what I'm doing. What I'm doing. But they're going to go in the bottom of my pie. You can cut them bigger, littler, whatever you want. A nice size little bite. Big, beautiful. Love these things. A lot of times at the store when I buy strawberries, they don't look so good. <laughs> these look pretty good. I'm very pleased. The super big ones, I'm cutting some more. I don't want them that big. Just cut it in half. Like I said, these are kind of bigger. all of them unless I know that I'm going to need every single one of them <laughs> in the bottom. So, okay, so I can stop right there. I've got two more, two more minutes left. Some of these, 
I'll go ahead and cut part of them. Now I'm going to put on the top. Now some of these are just really big. Big, big. Very big. I might end up doing a couple of big pieces on the top. I'll go ahead and just cut them in half and see what happens. Our pie's crust is ready. So that it will stay down and we're going to let it cool it needs to cool I want it to cool all the way okay so I'm not going to put it back on the on the uh, hot burner or <laughs> on the cooking sheet and my cooking sheet's hot I am going to find okay y'all I have my cookie rack. My, I mean, my, well, whatever this is. Holds it up so that it can get air underneath of it. So, I just put it up there and let it cool. And when it's up on something, it's going to cool that much quicker. So, I'm going to sit it over here. And just let it cool. And I'll just work on the strawberries. Little ones like this, that's actually easier when it comes to doing your pie, <laughs> especially decorating the top of it. You know, that's what I mean. But, so, I'm pretty sure I have enough. I've got to, um, some of my big ones here, I'll just cut a little bit differently and know that I've got plenty to put on the top to make it pretty. I want to make it as pretty as I can. Oh yeah, beautiful. It's going to be absolutely beautiful. And it's going to taste even better. <laughs> okay, so I can't do anything else until my, until my crust is cool. Then I'll open this, and I'm going to put, start putting some on the bottom of it. Alright, so I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, y'all, so my pie is totally cool. I'm going to open this up now. Now, when you go to open this, those of you that have never done it before, push down... You know, on both sides of the uh, at the top, push your your glaze down before you cut it. Well, you'll have a big mess, <laughs> sticky mess. So yeah, just push it down. Oops. And then I'm just gonna cut part of it, okay? Like if you have a pair of scissors, that will work. Or you know. So I just cut a little corner off. That way I can just squeeze it out. Okay. Now I'm going to squeeze out about half right now, maybe. 
Enough to cover the bottom. Okay, stop. <laughs> stop. Pop it in such a way that it will go back in it. Because it's not going to. inside my cup y'all so it don't go anywhere else how about that so let's spin this around a little bit and we'll put more in as we need it oh y'all this is gonna be so good so good. Now, yeah, I'll put some strawberries in it. These are the ones that I cut up. Now, these are in pretty decent sizes. They're not, not too big, but uh, they're big enough. <laughs> they're big enough. Pour some down in there. Layer them. Some more of this. Squish it in there. Ooh, wait. Kind of work with it. You'll manage. Now I'm gonna kind of try to actually kind of mush this around the strawberries. Okay. It's gonna be so good. Squishing them down in there. They're getting covered too. They're getting covered too. This is wonderful. Just use your spoon and move it around. Now I'm making this part as flat as I can get now so that I can put my other strawberries on top. So I'm just going to place these in and I'm going to put the fat end on the outside like so. I'm going to show you this first. So I hope y'all can see that. And I'm just putting the strawberries around it now. I want to put them all the way around it. The fattest end at the outside, the shorter end there. These strawberries were so big, some of them are cut in half. Some of some of them, like this one, was actually a bigger fat one, but it looks, you know. If it's right. <laughs> Just do your best. That's all you can do.
few strawberries don't look perfect, do not worry about it. They're going to get eaten. They're going to look wonderful. Wow. Every, <laughs> every single one. Wonderful. one maybe eh. put that one right there oh wow that covered that covered wonderfully now I'm gonna put the rest of this on top and I'm gonna start squeezing from the bottom push down. You're pushing on both sides with your hands like that to push that all the way down. And that way you get out every bit of this wonderful glaze. Every bit. Do it on the edges. See how this all did? I got all of that on that side. All of it. Now I'm going to do it on that side. Turn around. Now it's all, all down here at the bottom. Oops, stuck my finger right in it. Stuck my finger right in it. Okay. Now I take a while talking and, you know, and I want to say all the right things to everybody to help anybody all out. I'm sure that we'll have some young people some teenagers probably making this pie. Who knows what? They might be younger than that helping mama in the kitchen. So, have some little one surprise her mama or grandma with a strawberry pie. Now this would be a really good thing for, yeah, uh, a mother or a grandmother to even get a young child, young, younger, not too young, but, and let them squish this stuff up and give them a safety knife to cut the strawberries. <laughs> we do want to be smart here and safe. Now, I have had so many young people tell me that they didn't get to cook when they were young. And mama, you know, they, all the parents are, all mamas and grandmas are working so much lately that they don't have time to teach their kids how to cook. And that's kind of sad. I'm going to wash my hands. Well, actually, I'm going to get this up first. Well, i got to spread it. <laughs> i got to spread it. I had to learn a lot of stuff. After I got married, just, you know, trial and error, I did learn things at home, and I had home ec in school, I had my grandma show me some, my mama showed me some, uh, my mother-in-law showed me some, you know, so I learned from various people how to do different things. I'm trying to get this off over on the edges now, I'm trying to spread it around. Trying to get to the edge. Tell you what, it's just enough. <laughs> I'd have been fine if it was more in that package now. <laughs> but this is going to be absolutely wonderful. It's going to be so good. Oh, and don't forget your sons. They like to eat it, so you need to teach them how to do it. <laughs> they gotta eat too. And as they get older, you know, if their wife is cook, uh, if if their wife is working, then it would be a good idea for them to know how to make some some things. 
a lot of things. There is nothing wrong with a young man in the kitchen. Or an older man. <laughs> you know. Alrighty. So this looks so good. Hooey. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, y'all. This is wonderful. I know y'all are going to like it. Mmm. Yum. And it ain't going to come off. <laughs> so. Mmm. Oh. Yum. <laughs> yum. Let's see you. Okay. Now. Wow. That is a pretty pie, y'all. That is pretty. Look at that. Beautiful. You guys can make it. Y'all can make it in a fourth of the, of the time that I took to make it. Talking and doing it slow. <laughs> but I know that you guys will like this pie. This is wonderful. If you've never had it, you will love it. I learned how to make this years ago in a restaurant that I worked. One of my very first jobs as a teenager. I loved it. Oh my goodness. Yes. It was Shoney's. <laughs> I'm sure there's a bunch of people out there that remember this kind of pie. So, yeah, I like that. I was the uh, salad bar girl. Breakfast bar, salad bar girl. And I took care of the salad bar and breakfast bar. And I helped make pies. And uh, sometimes delivering them out to the tables for other waitresses. But yeah, I, <laughs> I loved it. Loved it. I've never forgotten this kind of pie. This is good. Okay. So, let me say a quick prayer. Our Father in Heaven, I thank you for helping me make another good pie. Thank you for all the blessings and everything that you give me and the talents. Thank you. Father, I ask that you bless me, and uh, Father, I pray that you help this pie to nourish my body, and bless it, and, and uh, be with me and all my viewers, and help all of us to stay in your will for our lives. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your son. Thank you for protecting us and keeping evil far away from us. Thank you for everything you do for us, Father. I pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Yum. Okay. Yes. Now, we get to eat it. I can do it. <laughs> Y'all get to go make it. Stick this over here. Now, I'm going to cut me a piece of pie. I'm going to take it off of here, or I'll cut that. So, I'm going to cut me a piece now. Yeah, how beautiful. Cut the strawberry. Cut the crust without cutting the bottom of the tin. <laughs> okay. Yum. Y'all, this is going to be so good. And my battery on my camera is trying to go die on me. I don't have too much left. So, would you look at that? Now, I forgot to tell you guys at the beginning to get out you some Cool Whip or some Whip Topping. And, uh... You can put this inside of a bag and try to do that. I'm not the best with that. <laughs> I can do it. I'm not the best with it. But this is so easy, and I told you easy. So you can either put a chunk of Cool Whip on it, or look at that. That's beautiful. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
I know it's going to end in a minute. My camera is going to stop. <laughs> That's about how we used to do it at work. And I love these pies. <laughs> I did the same thing at work. Now, yeah. oh man, that looks so good. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that wonderful? Yum. <laughs> and yum. Yum. Oh my, y'all. I get to eat it. <laughs> goodness I love this I love this this is so good <laughs> mm. it tastes as good as it looks y'all this is wonderful easy super easy that's why I called it super easy <laughs> but yeah this is so good I hope that you guys watch watch this all the way through I hope y'all like it. I really do. Yeah. If y'all do. Oh, and subscribe to my channel. I have all kinds of new stuff that I'm putting out. Every week I put out new videos. And uh, I do a little bit of everything. Uh, main dishes, side dishes, soups, salads, vegetables, breads, pies, casseroles. Everything I can think of. So if you guys like my, like my uh, stuff. I don't want you to miss anything else. Subscribe to my channel and you'll get notifications every time I put something out. And uh, I think that you'll like it. I think you'll like a lot of different things I might have on there. And uh, yeah, if you like my, my pie, give me a thumbs up. Let me know. Leave me a comment. Tell me, tell me what you think. Subscribe to my channel. I truly appreciate it. I need it. I, I appreciate it. <laughs> and, um, yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, I hope that you guys like it. And um, I really, really appreciate you guys watching these videos. Especially watching them all the way through. And some of them are longer than others. But I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Mmm. That is so good. So good. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Thank you. As always. Bye. <laughs>